Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome back to another episode of Acoustic Guitar Pickups. I'm now filming in HD which means that you can see me in HD on Google Chrome browsers and also of course you can hear the audio in HD which might give you an even better idea of how these pickups sound. So today's pickup is the Go Acoustic Audio. It's by Paul McGill. Now Paul McGill is a Nashville based luthier, very well respected has built guitars for Chet Atkins in the past, has his own special brand of guitar, and this pickup has been designed for those guitars. He has a, a young partner, Ben, fantastic guy. I chatted with him at the NAMM show this year. Very clever, very smart, and a great guy, great team. And they've decided to build their own pickup for Paul's guitars. Now this pickup is available obviously in Paul's guitars and also as a retrofit for the Taylor guitar, and also a standalone system that can be mounted in the sound hole of a guitar as well. Now for today's demo, I have a Martin guitar. It's actually been installed in the guitar, as I mentioned. And this one also has side controls too. This is obviously an optional extra. It means drilling into your guitar. So you may not want to do that. So as I said, you can have it in the sound hole. And then if you look at the bridge here, the saddle, there is no saddle in this guitar. The pickups themselves are actually the saddle. So it does require on a Martin routing out the saddle to make the slot wider, and then each one is individual. Now the good thing about this is that it means that there's no under saddle element that could impact the sound of your guitar. The pickup is the saddle, and it's a hard, dense material. Of course, if you're a fan of bone saddles or a different kind of material, that will be an issue for you. But I think that's a real, a real plus there. Then you have a battery inside the guitar. The guitar pickup is active, which is great, and the battery life is, is quite long. I think it's around 80 hours, which is great. This is a modular system, and because each pickup is separate, you can have a MIDI controller built in as well if you want that. And also you can add a second pickup sensor. We'll get to that later on. Right now I'm going to show you the sound of the acoustic guitar, and then I'll show you the pickup by itself, directly recorded to my interface. So as you can hear, it definitely sounds like an undersaddle pickup. It has a bit of harshness and quack to it. Now, I wouldn't say it has as much as other cheaper undersaddle pickups. I feel like because the pickup is the saddle as well, and because it has an excellent high headroom preamp inside, you get less quack than some systems, also less harshness, less brightness. Of course, this could be the way that the preamp is EQ'd inside the guitar. And the preamp still needs EQ, especially for strumming, as you can hear. So it's worth noting that a lot of very well-known and respected fingerstyle players are using this pickup. And I say pickup because it is still a pickup. It's very good because it's highly resistant to feedback in that each pickup is out of phase with each other. So you can play this on a very loud stage, fingerstyle cranked right up, and you shouldn't get much feedback. This is a real plus if you're a fingerstyle player. This is excellent. The problem I've come up against is that as someone that strums a lot, you still get that quacky, harsh sound. Now we get this with all pickups. Remember, a pickup is not a microphone. The way to alleviate it is to add another sensor like a microphone. Indeed, this system can have a microphone added and I'd love to see them add this feature in the future to blend it in. The other option is to use something like an IR or Tone Dexter. It's worth noting that the Tone Dexter right now does not work with this system. So you'd have to use a third party IR. So I feel like this is the beginnings of an excellent system. I love that the pickup is the saddle, I do wish that it wasn't um, a requirement to route the saddle. I'd like to see that made narrower so it'll fit in any Martin guitar. I love that the controls fit in the sound hole very neatly, and the battery life is excellent. I just feel like this would be a better system if it was a dual source, and as you know, I do prefer dual source systems. Also, the fact it doesn't work with Tone Dexter could be an issue for some. So if you're a fingerstyle player, check out the guys that are using this, Tom Bresch, 
and some other guys really well known in that circuit. They love it for the feedback resistance and the pure tone that they get. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below if this is something you would be interested in checking out. And I'll see you next time on my acoustic guitar pickup demos and reviews. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.